We're going to watch this video, and this is a walkthrough of this particular tool. It's called Bardeen. We'll have a link to it below. After, we're going to come back with our comments and our strategies on how to monetize this, because I know that there's an active market for scraped data out there. So one way that we're going to talk about is how you can just literally get it done and sell it to people, right? Sell the data. Uh, but there's so many other ways we're going to look at. So let's watch the video now, and we'll come back with our monetization ideas. Now let's go ahead and build a playbook that extracts information from LinkedIn right into a Google Sheet. So right here in front of me, I have a people search on LinkedIn. I want to extract some of the results based on what I'm interested in. First, I'm going to create some filters. Let's get only secondary connections in the United States that work at Google and Let's narrow down the list. So here we have 5,900 results and I want to get some of them added to a spreadsheet. So first let's open Bardeen right here and let's create a playbook. Click on create playbook. And now we have the scraper action. Here we have three scraper actions on the active tab. So it's the currently open tab and we can also scrape information in the background. So I'm interested in scraping the currently open page and now we can create a new scraper template. So let's click on this variable and I want to click on the active tab right here. We have two types of scraper templates, individual page scraper and a list scraper template. The individual page scraper gets information from individual pages, such as a LinkedIn profile page. And the list scraper allows you to extract lists such as this LinkedIn people search page. Let's select that give it a name and now let's locate the list. In order for us to do this, we need to click on the same element in two different list items. So let's click on the name here and here. And now Bardeen knows that this is the list we want to extract. So from here, you can click on the element that you're interested in and you have different types of data that we can get. We can get text, we can get the link, we can get the image, we can click on an element and we can even input information. So I want to get the name of the person I want to get their profile link, description, and location. Below you can see the data preview. When you're done creating your scraper template, click on save template. Because we're scraping a list, the list is going to be distributed across multiple pages or it's going to be loaded dynamically. In our LinkedIn search, we have 5,900 people. That's a long list and no website is going to load all of the information to one page at once because it's too much information. So instead, that list is going to be spread out either across multiple pages or it's going to be loaded dynamically when you scroll down. So in this case, we have the list spread out across multiple pages. So I want to select click pagination and locate the next button. So here's the location of the next button. And now we've created a, a scraper template for the list. Here you get to specify how many list items you want to extract. In my case, I want to scrape 20 list items and click on done. And now we need to save the scrape information somewhere. Let's add another action right here and save it into a spreadsheet. So we have Google Sheets. Let's add table rows to a spreadsheet. Let's create a new spreadsheet and let's call it LinkedIn search. So when you run this playbook, we're going to have a new spreadsheet created every time with the list items. And here, let's wire the data from the previous action to this spreadsheet. Let's click on save, call it LinkedIn search to new sheet, save, close the builder. Let's collapse it so it looks nicer. And finally, here we have the search. Let's run the playbook. And just like this, a new spreadsheet was created. Let's view it. And all of the information was added. So here we have 20 list items. What I wanna do to, uh, today in this video too is break down the different ways you can monetize this AI tool. One way, the way that I thought of is you can actually scrape Facebook groups with this tool. And what's cool about that is if you if you have a Facebook group that's dedicated to one very niche topic and you happen to serve that niche topic, it's very difficult to get in there and try to promote your stuff. People try it all the time. They get kicked out. They get banned out of the Facebook group because it's their group, right? And they don't want anybody coming in and spamming. But what if you could scrape all of the leads from that Facebook group and then run ads to those leads? run Facebook ads to those leads. 
what if this tool allows you to do this, this, the second thing that I'm going to mention, and that is, what if you scraped that Facebook group and this tool automatically sent each one of those people a message, a, a direct message, maybe offering them something completely free that's related to what you know they're already interested in. Now you're using very hyper-targeted uh, traffic and you're connecting with them on something that they're very interested in. So those are a couple of things that it, were not mentioned in this video, but you could you could conceivably scrape Facebook groups. You could scrape Facebook in general for people that have certain interests and connect with them. Uh, there's so many different things. What you could do with this is just start selling leads on Fiverr.com or selling leads yourself. You could sell leads of uh, all, all the local business owners that meet certain criteria. You could just have it scrape Yellow Pages, for example. You know, the old Yellow Pages website. You could have it scrape that. You, you could have it scrape Google for certain things. Let's say that you're into collectibles like I am. And there's a, a simple strategy that I, I remember some guy was doing this uh, ages ago is doing really well. He would monitor eBay's Buy It Now listings. So that as soon as, and, and he would have it set so that it was, it showed the newest buy it now listings. As soon as somebody posted a collectible that he knew was underpriced and it was buy it now, he would buy it right away. So he was constantly checking these buy it nows, buy it nows as, and constantly refreshing, right? So imagine you, you could set up this, uh, this bot basically to do that for you and populate a spreadsheet. As soon as something pops up, you could even probably make it they could do a sound, right? Like a ding, ding. Oh, that's a good deal. Buy it now. Buy it now. Buy it now, right? So even if you're like an eBay flipper and you, you like buying stuff cheap, and so it gives you an opportunity to jump on those deals right away. Or you, uh, could, sell the, you could sell access to that. You could sell <clears throat> so access gonna, to that. Right? Because now, now with AI, it's like whatever you think of, wouldn't it be cool if this tool existed? Well, pretty much and pretty soon you're going to be able to just think of it and that tool can exist. So if you're like, huh, wouldn't it be cool if like sometimes people put stuff up on eBay, for example, and they just don't realize what it's worth. But other people know, like if it was like a super rare, um, you know, Michael Jordan rookie card or something like that. But you're just you just don't have 24 hours a day to just keep refreshing. Right. There's no fun right. in that. But imagine if you're like you can charge someone 20 bucks a month and whenever these things happen, it'll let them know, uh, among others. Boom. For example, we go to Disney World all the time. <laughs> And um, it's hard sometimes to get dinner reservations for certain places. So there are tools out there now that when a dinner reservation becomes available, it'll send it. And it won't just send it to me. People will pay for a thousand people to be sent about this reservation to, to try and be the first one to get it. But people pay for that. So when there's something that's exclusive, something that doesn't happen all the time, you're going to be able to have AI bots created, scrapers, whatever you want to call it, AI in the end. That's going to be able to span the internet, however it's going to do that. And, and, and the thing is, we don't even necessarily need to understand it. We're just we're just going to like talk to it. And it's just because it has a superhuman brain, it's just going to know how to find that. Right. And then right. boom, it serves it up. All right. I was smart enough to come up with that prompt for this tool and I'll charge for it. And, th and that's how you can make money all day long. And it'll make the website for you. It'll do all that stuff. You just had to think of the idea. Man, it was hard for me to do this. Huh. I want AI to fix it. AI, please fix it. Okay, now I'm selling that to everybody. Like that's that's what's going to happen. That's the way to do it. So um, I hope you all like this uh, strategy. It's a pretty amazing tool. We'll have a link to it down below. But also let us know in the comments how you think would be a good way to use this this tool, this ability to uh, scrape or refresh or to, to monitor things for you in real time and then send that information to you. Uh, so thank you everybody for joining us and thank you all for your support. We've been amazed at the growth of this channel. We've got some free goodies for you in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. We'll see you next time on Making Money with AI.